You know how you've sculpted those nails so perfect. Whether you're doing hybrid gel, hard gel, or acrylic, they're looking perfect. You finished sculpting, now you're ready for the gel polish. You put on all the gel polish, beautiful color, but you look back and go, why do they look so thick and bulky? The shape that I originally had is kind of lost. They both look great. However, the photo on the left is thicker. See the difference? I totally understand where you're coming from, but I have the answer. Let's get started. So after you finish fine tuning that perfect free edge shape, a couple things you wanna make sure that you're doing before you attack it with the gel polish. And that's make sure you've got good cuticle separation. And that's where the product meets the cuticle. There's a definition in between the two. So get a skinny bit, like a pointy bit underneath bit, something like that. Go around the cuticle, very, very flat, like parallel. This is an acrylic that I have on here. This isn't gel polish, this is yellow acrylic. Go around the cuticle and just make sure you've got a nice cuticle separation and there's no crusties in there. I did a video recently where someone was mentioning this is their favorite part, getting the crusties out and I know what they mean. So you just give a nice little smooth file around there, make sure there's nothing in there that could interfere with your cuticle application of your gel polish. Make sure it's nice and thin, there you go. And then the next really important step is make sure there's no dust. One thing that looks really awful <laughs> with gel application, if you get just even a speck of dust in there, the gel will pick it up, roll with it like a snowball and amplify that. You can have a perfect application and you see one speck of dust that's gathered with the gel and it'll drive you crazy. So make sure there's no dust in there. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, I'm just gonna show the polish bristles. Okay, here's where the difference comes in. It's, it's in the brush to get a super low profile for a gel polish. These brushes are great. I don't have any problem with them. But if you want a super thin, especially on the free edge or near the cuticle, then a thin haired brush like a gel brush works really, it's just a trick hack. So these are great and they will do the trick, but if you're just looking for a little bit more of a thinner look, you wanna grab a gel brush. And that looks like this. And gel polish wants to be a little bit thicker so you have a good coverage, but if you apply it a little bit thinner, maybe in three coats, then you get that more lower profile to really accentuate your free edge. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip my gel brush in my polish, I'm just gonna saturate the bristles a bit. And I'm not gonna carry too much on it. Okay, so that's my first layer of gel. It's nice and thin. Now you can also, if you're gonna get really picky, you can take a very tiny little brush like this one and get a little bit of gel paint. And you can, if you wanna get a little bit closer, you can use that little brush to get right in there. You can also, if you're doing yourself, you can pull your thumb back and get really picky and paint that very side. This is the place where sometimes it can get thick. If you're taking your brush from the bottle and wiping it on the side, it'll deposit more. And I guess that's what this is all about. That brush is a great brush, but it deposits more, therefore making it a little bit thicker. So if you're really picking and you're wanting it thinner, you wanna use a different brush. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's often how we do our nails and we leave that thin edge around there in the salon, that happens. I mean, I've only gotten this picky too because I'm doing photographs, photos, right? and I'm doing, the camera is super close. <laughs> so I'm, I notice those little edges that sometimes you can fix. And also too, over the years, clients, some clients can be really, really picky. 
Some clients don't notice at all, and some clients can be super picky. So you learn through picky clients. I know picky clients can drive you crazy, but remember, those clients can really teach you a lot. Before you get frustrated, just take from it, hmm, can I make it better? And they can help you make it better. And then you can just do the free edge like this. I mean, you don't want to do it for everybody because it can be very time consuming. Okay. Then you want to give it a nuke. So I'm happy that first layer has not changed the shape of the free edge at all. Now I'm just going to bring in my second layer. nice and smooth and just going to give that a nuke. Yeah, that, that should have kept a nice low profile. I don't know if you can see, see how nice and thin that is. And there's no bulkiness to it. It's nice and thin. And you can turn it sideways. See, that's a nice low profile and it's still keeping the shape that I precisionally spent so much time trying to get a nice clean shape. So the top coat is also another layer that we're adding, and it can also add some bulk, but it's a little different. It's a little more forgiving because it's not color. Because it's clear, it will add bulk, but you won't see it and it won't change your shape. But just apply it like you normally do, not too thick and just, just the right amount. Okay, we'll give that a nuke. Now I'm gonna do them all in that low profile to show you how beautiful they are, and nice and thin. You can get a thin look with a brush supplied in the bottle. However, a gel brush just makes it a little bit easier. So see the difference? So if you're discerning, just switch your brush out. It makes all the difference. If you want to check out more troubleshooting with gel, check this video out.